to this course of TL900, Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. My name is Ranjan Pandey and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer having 11 years of experience. I have done several implementation on Power Platform for Fortune 500 companies across the globe. I have passed this examination and have delivered this course to several large enterprises globally. Along with Power Platform, I have vast experience working on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure. If you guys have any query related to this course, please feel free to reach out to the FlexMind team. Who can do this certification? Is it for me or not? Now, Microsoft Power Platform can be learned by developers, non-developers and data analysts looking to improve the productivity by leveraging any of the points mentioned over here. What is the course agenda? Let's see that what is it that you are going to learn as part of this course. This course has five modules. Module 1 will cover introduction to the Power Platform and what are the services included in it. You will learn how you can use connectors to connect to 300 plus standard data sources that Microsoft is providing. What is AI Builder and how you can use AI Builder to inject intelligence to your apps in Power Apps and workflows in Power Automate. In module number 2, you will learn about Common Data Service. What is Common Data Service and why you should use it. You will learn about entities, fields and relationships. What is the use cases and limitations of business rules? You will also learn how to use common data standard entities. In module 3, you will learn about the capabilities of Power Apps. Like what is Power Apps? What is the difference between Canvas App and Model Driven Apps? How to create reusable components in Power Apps? How to use formulas? You will learn how to create a Canvas and Model Driven App and what is Power App Portal and how to use it. In module number 4, you will learn about the capabilities of Power Automate. You will learn that what are the different type of workflows that you can create inside Microsoft Flow. How Power Automate uses connectors to connect to different data sources. How to use conditions including switch, do until and apply to each how to use expressions, how to build an end-to-end -end flow and troubleshoot it. In module number 5, you will learn about the capabilities of Power BI, how to connect to and consume data, how we can combine multiple data sources, how to clean and transform data, how to build a basic dashboard using Power BI. At the end of this course, you will have to complete an assessment to validate your learning. See you in module 1, Overview of Power Platform.